Law enforcement officials are hoping a small piece of technology will help them fight crime. The Janesville Police Department launching a new initiative to help reunite stolen items with their owners. Margot Spann joins us now with more on the data dots. Margo. According to police, most people don't write down the model or serial numbers for their TVs or other electronics. So if they get stolen, it's hard to prove they belong to you. But this new technology could change that. I have one on my desk here. It's very, very small. It's the size of a flake of pepper. These are data dots. They aren't very big, but they could be very helpful. Having them on there, we're hoping it's going to deter it from be their products from being stolen. Second is if we recover property that has been stolen, we're able to find out who it belongs to and hold the bad guys accountable for stealing that, that, that product. For less than $40, you get a vial of hundreds of tiny dots with a serial number unique to you. Then you apply them to your valuables and register online. All we need is one dot. If we get one dot, we can get that number off of that dot, put it into a database, find out who it belongs to, and return it to that, per that person. I have it on my flat screen television, I have it on my laptop, I have it on my PC. Tim Bremel is one of the first people in Rock County to use data dots. He says putting them on was easy and the glue dries clear. This is pretty practical and if the police department is just always looking for it when they recover stolen items, to me it just seemed like a good idea. Law enforcement agencies use a special tool to read the numbers on the dots and have access to a database to reunite the stolen items with their owners. The product also helps out the Janesville area Crime Stoppers. Half of the money goes to the local Crime Stopper organization, and then half the money is obviously used to purchase the product itself. So, Now, police haven't made any arrests in Janesville so far using the dots, but all of the law enforcement agencies in Rock County have been trained on how they work. Now, since it is a nationwide database, Officer Sullivan recommends even if you don't live in Rock County, it's a good investment to get the dots. Margot Spann reporting from our Rock County Bureau. Thanks, Margot.